I like this matchup for him. Both guys strikers, both guys long. As you see, uh, the orthodox southpaw matchup and uh, exactly what they're looking for to establish. It's pretty cool seeing two taller bantamweights. Uh, oh, big knee. Oh, good right He's hand. Right to him. Looked like Jaron gave him a little right hook on the exit there, too. Oh. Oh, he's got that guillotine. Guillotine. Tied. Nice. Able to apply more weight now on the ground. And I'm glad he didn't rush that position. It was looking like the momentum was almost going to roll him through. But way to sit his weight back in and uh, control the position. You know, sometimes when you end in that position, the guy really goes to the underhook. You could just kind of switch it to a dart, switch it to something else. Yeah. So that's like kind of what he's looking to do, it looks like. Switching in, coming on the top position, that's nice. So try and keep him on the carries like that. Oh, that could be it. And nice. He's not stopping with the ground and pound. Hard to get past those long legs, but he's doing a great job. He should be pushing his head, pushing his head down and kicking that leg back. Yeah, he needs to be using his frame a little more. Nice. Pregmore doing a good job at staying composed despite the constant pressure by Jeremiah. I don't think he has much of a choice. Yeah. The action's been on him from the jump. I think he should have stayed on that underhook trying to turn him. Okay. He looks like he's under, but still using it to control him and landing good strikes in the clinch as well. Maybe look to snap down off that. Oh. Nice takedown there. Wants to watch his neck, of course, for he's Jared Pedmore. He's going to set himself up for Von Flew if he doesn't let go of the head. I think once he frees his head, he should try and put his head to the cage and land some big shots from top. Kind of make up for that little scramble. Yeah, I definitely want to get a little bit more damage because I think he's wearing I think we got even more blood in this fight now. And, uh, you know, even with the takedown, he's probably losing this round if he doesn't do some damage. This is where posture should be his biggest thing, really trying to get the posture back. Absolutely. Jeremiah a little slower. Uh, you almost wonder if he emptied the gas tank a little too early. Sure Surely he has more as a veteran. It looks like he might be under the chin here, but he doesn't have any legs in. Looks like he's trying to reach for that rear he's naked. To fight it's that just top hand. Short time here for Jeremiah. Nice it's back take. Can he make uh -huh. it through the round? He does. Gets out of the truck. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremiah Jackson is unable to answer the bell for the second round. Therefore, declaring your winner at three minutes into the first round by Dr. Stoppage due to injury, Jared.